Hey guys, James here, and today we're going to talk about manually setting up your Cinegear's single axis wireless follow focus. First thing we're going to do is have our motor off of the lens. We're going to plug it in, bring some power to it. Now just note that uh, the kit that you will purchase comes with a right angle cable, not the straight one here. Next thing we'll be doing is turning on the remote here and then we want to pair the motor and the remote controller together so I'll press this button for three seconds light will change go green perfect press on set and code for three seconds and now they are talking together so we're paired and ready to calibrate we'll bring our motor onto the lens like this. So there's two ways to remap your lenses. If you have like this lens here, a cinema lens or a lens with hard stops, you can do an automatic remapping. You'll press on the set button and the A button together for three seconds. Like this, the lens will go to infinity and then we'll come back, go all the way to the minimum focusing distance. Once that is done, your lens is remap for the entire rotation of the controller there we go okay so let's say that you have a stills lens that does not have hard stops you don't want to be going past the infinity point or the minimum focusing distance we can manually remap our lenses to accommodate that it's very simple we'll press on the set button and record button together for three seconds as usual the four lights here will turn on now in this case they will stay on and it indicates that we're in the manual remapping mode. First thing we're going to do is we're going to set the minimum focusing distance on the lens. Let's say that on this lens it's 18 inches. I'm going to press on C here to go towards my minimum focusing point. When I reach the distance that I need to, to be at, you'll press the C button again and the motor will stop spinning. Now, in this case here, I went past my mark. No problem, we don't need to start over again. We can press D here, and it will turn in the opposite direction in very, very fine increments until I reach that limit that I want. So now that I'm at the minimum focusing distance on my lens, I'm gonna press the A button once. And this tells the remote that this is my minimum focusing distance. Now to set infinity, again, we can go with really, really small increments here, but that's going to take forever. So press on the D for three seconds. The lens is going to start spinning in the other direction. And again, same thing. When I reach my infinity point, press on the button and the motor will stop. And then you can fine tune again where we want that limit to be. Once we're done, press on the B button. Our lens is recalibrated now. All right, now that we know how to manually remap our lenses, you might need to manually remap your controller. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, the reason why you might need to do that is that on set, you'll be using different lenses. You'll be remapping lenses quite often during a day of shooting. And what happens is that you might not be able to reach infinity focus on certain lenses because they have a different amount of rotation or just because we've done a lot of adjustments throughout the day. There's a very easy and simple way to make sure that our controller and our lenses get the entire range of rotation they're supposed to have. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to put my controller at its minimum focusing distance. I'm going to press on set, code, and record for three seconds there we go all four lights turned on and now I'm going to go to infinity focus I'm going to press on set code and record again all three together for three seconds all four lights turn on our controller is manually remapped and now we can get the entire focus rotation on our lens Everything we've just talked about applies to the single axis Cinegears follow focus.
but it also applies to the multi-axis Cinegears Follow Focus.